gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up Welcome back to our channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jill, I'm the mom, and we are just a fun family channel doing everyday life with two teenagers, and every day is just an adventure. So today has just actually been a pretty quiet day around here. The kids are at their community day. Uh, we are a homeschooling family, but one day a week, the kids go to community day and spend it with their classmates. and. I have just been home today doing stuff around the house, doing a few things for Kenya's music, um, helping Luke out with uh, his new business, and just taking care of things around the house. So I am actually getting ready to head out the door and go pick up the kids from Community Day, and then we have to run to a quick meeting for a possible gig Kenya is looking at possibly doing for her music. Once I get the kids and after we get done with Kenya's meeting, I'm going to come home and fix dinner. I actually have a new recipe that I found. It's a healthy recipe for shepherd's pie. So I thought I would share that with you guys today. But first, I'm out the door to go get the kids. All right, I got the kids and we're home and I'm getting ready to start dinner, but let's check in with everybody before we do that. Where are you going? I'm trying to fix up my truck, so I'm going to go put some new parts in. My truck is a 1983 Chevy K10, and this is going to be, I believe, a chrome air filter for it and a seat belt. I have another big box outside that contains two door panels, so that's what I'll be re replacing today. Have fun. Okay. What you doing? Play my guitar. Well, um, he's a new addition. He's he's mine. I got him for my birthday this year, and I love him so much. He's an American-made guild, so he's he's beautiful. He's actually one of a kind. Um, my favorite part about him is this sort of sunburst, especially on the back. It's darker shading, but then you've got really cool designs on him and everything. Um, his name's Cowboy, <laughs> uh, and I love him. So, yeah, I'm just playing. Playing some songs and which playing? Play something. Uh, okay. This is give us your song. Well, um, I'm not gonna sing it, but I'll play it for you. What's going on? You got. She's home. back. <laughs> She's vlogging again. I'm so happy. Um. I just got home from work a little bit ago, and I'm listening to Kenya play her baby guitar, and her guitar that's her baby, and coaching her a little bit. But I think I'm gonna go help Lincoln. He's really been begging me to go help him with his truck, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay. Meows! Hello, Meows! You're begging me. Come here. Bye, guys! Okay, so for dinner tonight, I've decided to make a shepherd's pie. And instead of the traditional shepherd's pie where you have mashed potatoes on top, we are actually doing mashed turnips. Um, and I'm excited to try this recipe out and just see what the kids think. It's a healthier version. Um, it's lower in fat. It's going to use a couple of different uh, uh, ingredients rather than what a traditional shepherd's pie would be. So let's go over the ingredients that you need for this recipe. All right, so the amount that we're cooking for tonight that the recipe is calling for is it serves six people. So for that, you will need one and one quarter pound of either ground beef or ground lamb. Tonight we're using ground beef. You'll need one and a half cups of celery sliced, two and a fourth cups cremini mushrooms or assorted mushrooms. And you'll just wanna do a rough chop on those. One and a half tablespoons fresh rosemary, finely chopped. Three fourth teaspoons ground black pepper. 
four tablespoons almond flour, one and a half teaspoons Worcestershire sauce, one and a half cups chicken stock, five and a half cups turnips, and they are cubed, three tablespoons milk, and one and a half cups shredded cheddar cheese. So now that we have all our ingredients together, the first step that we're gonna do is get the turnips and make sure and put them in a pot and put uh, cover them with water and start boiling them on the stove. After that, you're going to go ahead and brown the ground beef. Once the turnips come to a boil, you do want to let them simmer anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes or until they are fork tender. You'll also want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Once you've browned the hamburger, you're going to want to reduce the heat to medium heat and you're going to add the celery, the mushrooms, the black pepper, and the rosemary. Once you've added the mushrooms, celery, rosemary, and pepper to the hamburger, you'll want to let that cook for about another eight to 10 minutes until the celery becomes soft and the liquid from the mushrooms has evaporated. Once the celery has softened and the mushrooms are cooked, the next step is to go ahead and add the almond flour followed by the chicken stock to the browned hamburger mixture. When we do that, we're gonna stir it all together, cover it with a lid and let it simmer on low for about 10 minutes. While we let the hamburger and vegetable mixture go ahead and simmer for 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and take our turnips and make sure that they are fork tender. If they are, we're going to drain them and return them back to the pot and add our milk and cheese and go ahead and mash them up just like we would mashed potatoes. Once you have the turnips mashed and the grated cheddar cheese and milk incorporated to that, the next thing you will do is go ahead and uncover your ground beef and vegetable mixture and check to make sure that it has thickened. After that, you will remove it from the heat. Go ahead and add the Worcestershire sauce and then you will go ahead and take the mashed turnips and add them to the top of your ground beef mixture and we will put it in the oven uncovered for 30 minutes and let it bake in the oven for about half an hour until it is golden brown and bubbly. So once it bakes in the oven for 30 minutes, it's ready to serve. We're gonna go ahead and dish this up and see what everybody thinks about this new shepherd's pie recipe. All right, we have it all dished up. Everybody's gonna get ready to eat. Can't wait to eat. 
Are you guys ready? Yeah, we yeah. just finished working on Lincoln's truck, so we're ready to go. Yeah. All right, well, I want to get first impressions because I told them this is a brand new <laughs> recipe, okay. so. I'm going to try it. Ready? It's really good. I love it. What do you love about it? Um, it's really good. I love it. It's like a... Uh, you like it? It's hot? <laughs> His is like lava. Um, no, it's very savory. It's got... Um, is there mushrooms in it? Yeah. I like that. That's the flavor okay. I think of. Yeah. But the 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 uh, dumpling or whatever on the top, I don't know what that is. But Those are turnips. Oh, that's really good. It tastes like... It tastes like... Uh, it tastes like your dumplings that you make on yeah. chicken and dumplings. Oh, okay. So it's a hit? Yes, do it again. Okay. Love it. I would add a little bit of hot sauce, but I like spicy. So. Oh yeah, you can okay. kick it up. Lincoln, this is the one we gotta hear from. Yes, what do you think, son? Um, it's pretty good. <laughs> What's the matter? It's good. There you have it. Okay, so it sounds like the new recipe was a hit. Um, I would say really just a few pointers if you choose to make this recipe. It would probably go a lot quicker in making it if you do the prep ahead of time. So even the night before and then the next day you can throw it together for your family. Um, but I am happy that we found a good recipe that is healthier and we have our kids and everybody happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe today, and as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.